Podcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Well, good afternoon, all of you Days of Our Lives fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Spotlight On, where we bring you current and past cast members of the hit NBC show Days of Our Lives to discuss their time on Days. I am your host, Tony Moore, and I am joined by my chocolate twin. We have... James Lott Jr. And, of course, to the far, 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 I'm not moving away. I'm not going in the next studio. I, You're I stuck with me. I was hoping by saying far a few times, I get up just, and leave. Well, it would just put you further. <laughs> <laughs> we have the guy whose hair is longer than a episode of Days. Uh, probably. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mark J. Freeman mm-hmm. in the house. And of course, we are joined by a very special guest. He is the original Dario Hernandez. Please give it up for Francisco San Martin. <laughs> Hola. Hola, como esta? Muy bien, y tú? Bien, bien. Stop bien. it right there, bro. <laughs> That's, it. That's all I got. That's all I got. Well, we're, we're very fortunate to have you um, in the studio because, as I just said, you are the original Dario. You originated the role, and the new Dario just started. Yeah. So I figured this would be great to kind of catch fans up on Dario. Dario. <laughs> Dario. There you go. In stereo. I know. Wow, that was crazy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, and help yourself to pizza rolls. Yes, because we always have. Pizza I am rolls an actor in Hollywood, so he's like, no, <laughs> probably not gonna eat that. Listen, you can have one; it's I'm totally one. Okay. fine. Right. Yeah, yeah, you can throw just... it up. I'll show you where the bathrooms are. Oh, great! <laughs> that always works. <laughs> <laughs> now, what? Okay, I'll have yours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to start off with is that before you came on as Dario, you were actually on days. Before, mm-hmm. as um, I think they named him Javier. Yeah, yeah I think it was Javier. Yeah. I yeah. saw it yeah. on a thing, and I meant to write it down. I don't think I did. Yeah, oh. yeah, it was it was Javier. Yeah, yeah, pretty it, sure. And it was during the the whole like there was this like virus that broke mm-hmm. out, and mm-hmm. like you were the one the patient that died from it. Yeah, um, and I found pictures of it. Mm. Because luckily for Google and Bing, there's pictures. So there's a photo of you with uh, Mark Hapka, who plays Nathan. I love my Nathan, coloring. And, right? <laughs> and Molly Ooh. Burnett. So, yeah. And then, like, it was about, I feel like a month after that, that aired, you uh, you came on as Daria. Yeah, well, it was kind of insane because they booked me for an under five role. Mm-hmm. And I literally walked in and um, auditioned for Marnie, and she saw me in this picture when I went to Mozambique, to Africa, to take some pictures of some kids. It it Mm -hmm. actually happened. And she's like, well, I think you're perfect for the role, blah, blah, blah. So I read the lines. It was very easy. And then I went to set, and I'm like, oh, well, this scene's pretty easy. I mean, I didn't think it was anything difficult. But um, the casting director, oh, no, the, the director at the time came up to me afterwards, and he's like, look, we really liked you. And um, just, you know, keep an open mind, we might reach out to you. So literally, I was walking off the set, Mm -hmm. and my manager called me, and he's like, well, they want to book you for a contract role. And I'm like, what? Wow. So I've never heard of that. Those are like the kind of like Hollywood stories that never happen. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So literally, I went like a week later, and I read for another part that they had just written up on the spot. Mm -hmm. And I was leaving that day for Spain. Oh, wow. Because I was just planning on staying this summer in L.A. Yeah. Mm. And I'm like, well, you know, for whatever reason this takes me back, then I'll just come so back. So you were here for a summer. For a summer, yeah. And got an under five. Under five. And a contract role. And a contract role. And yeah. I've been here for 15 years. <laughs> I was lucky. I was lucky. I feel like when you come <laughs> I'm into it. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> When you come into it with no expectations, and sure. I didn't really know how to navigate anything, so I was kind of just like, ah, yeah. well, I'm just going to give it my all if whatever happens, happens. Right. Whereas now, it's like you understand the the, the importance behind every single audition that you go to, and a right. lot of times you can get nervous, but I didn't really care. Yeah. You know? So I'm just like, if it doesn't work out, whatever, I can just go back to Spain. Well, clearly it worked out because Dario was born. Yeah. But he's... Go ahead. I was like, go ahead. No, you go ahead. <laughs> I was saying, just on a side note, you are a photographer. And that's, I am, why, yeah. and that's why you were in Mozambique and other yeah, places yeah, yeah. actually photographing. Yeah, yeah. 
So that's kind of fun that you were doing that. You were doing that, and you got the acting. Gig. Yeah, it's funny how things kind of lead up to it, you know. And then yeah. he, my manager sent that picture, and with like all these little kids behind me, and it was an amazing experience. Yeah, humbling, and just I learned so much. So yeah, it was really really nice. I th- for, for two seconds, Junior, I was like, "Oh, are you trying to get a photo shoot out of this?" <laughs> 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 like, oh, you know. Are you trying to? It's been a while since I've taken pictures oh, like okay. it. Okay. Okay. Are you trying to get yeah. your your A and T M on? That's like, right, exactly. <laughs> Raise smiles at any time. Um. So when Dario first um entered uh Salem, he started off as like a petty thief, like. Yeah. Going like going into this, and especially how you just said like you had no expectations or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Like was was it intimidating for you to to start this role? Like how how were you feeling going into this role of Daria? I mean, the audition process, like I said, wasn't intimidating at all. But once yeah. you see that the ball started to roll and it started to roll very quickly, mm-hmm. I was like, uh, maybe I'm in over my head. I think that the first couple times that I was on camera, I was a little bit tense. But um, yeah, you just kind of like lean on your on your castmates, and they kind of tell you how to go about scenes and stuff. So it got it got easier with time. But yeah, I thought it was really funny how everybody kind of starts off as the outcast. Yeah. He's always trying to like make his way into Salem and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Did maybe come from another? Your character come from another country too? Like like almost was it something like that? Or something? No, I don't think that there was much of a backstory. Yeah, They're just like, like, oh, he's like coming he just to popped seek up vengeance yeah, yeah. and of, right. of his sister that died, and he's like stealing because he's in like the bad yeah. life or whatever. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I um. I remember just how, like, all of a sudden it was like, oh, they have a brother. And I was like, oh, look at them trying to build their family. <laughs> Which they're trying to do again now. Yes. Yes, they are. Because now... Currently. I heard the mother came back, right? She's coming, coming back. She's, yeah, coming, she's coming, coming back, yeah. And then there's another person that we don't know who she is that's coming. Is she part of the family, too? I don't know if she's part of the family. Yeah. There's another woman. No, there's two women. Two Latinas coming. Oh, I thought, coming. oh I thought she was the chick in, the, in Phyllis' picture. No. No. There's oh, she's there's be, two coming. There's two Latinas well, coming. Well, listen, if you're going to build... But I think one is maybe, like, a past love or so I don't think it's an actual family member oh but I there is another there's two women I, think. I was gonna say if you're gonna build a Latin family you got a whole slew of people that you gotta <laughs> like start bringing in all of a sudden like the Hernandez family is gonna be on an island on Salem just all to themselves <laughs> yeah <laughs> did you did you watch did, I, did you watch or no families watch telenovelas or American soap operas when you were growing up well the funny thing is that um they wrote an article about me when I was in uh was out I was on days and yeah, I grew up watching Days, which was crazy. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of memories uh, when when I was living in Montana when I was a kid from the age of five to thirteen. I would mm-hmm. watch Days all the time, and I have these memories of like Bo and Hope being like trapped in an avalanche. <laughs> they still are. They still are. <laughs> they still are. <laughs> the relationship is going well. <laughs> And uh, like Marlena being possessed, mm. like and I was like, I got such a kick out of it. And I was like, I was pretty young, but I would watch it every time I would get back from school, and yeah, it was kind of like a like a routine thing. Were you starstruck at all when you got on set? A lot. Were you? A lot, yeah, because I'm like, these are the people that I used to watch when I was younger, but yeah. I actually went up to Hope and she didn't take it very well. Oh, oops. <laughs> she, I'm like, I used to watch when I was younger, and I'm like this like 20-some-year-old right. guy, and she's uh, like, ooh, thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to think of that. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure she's heard it a lot. Yeah. So, sorry about it. <laughs> she, she still looks good. <laughs> she she does. Does. Sorry, James. She, she looks great. She looks great. She looks good. I feel like, I feel like every... Days must have a fountain of youth that we don't know about. Yes, because like Lauren Coslow and all of them, they look great. Or just yeah. a lot of foundation and good lighting. That might be it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there you go. So we count on here at After Buzz. <laughs> well, some of us don't have to. <laughs> oh, oh, just saying. Moving um, right along. <laughs> so, um, so as as the character of Dario progressed, like, what what were your thoughts on on Dario? Like, were you? Because some people are like very excited about the direction of the character. Some people are like, mm, there was a part where I was just like, I'm not sure. Yeah. Like, what were your thoughts during that? The funny thing is that I think it's really hard to break into soaps, and everybody told me this. They're like, they're gonna hate you. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. you know, take it as it comes. Try to not read anything online, and and I did try to do that, but. Um, I think that a lot of people like start to associate you with a character a lot of the times because mine he was kind of a douchebag mm-hmm. you know and people were like oh well I don't like Francisco and I'm like I'm not I'm not that, I'm not person, that person you know but yeah yeah there wasn't much of a liking to my character at first but um I think as time progressed they saw that we uh, Melanie and I had a lot of chemistry you know Molly mm-hmm. in real life and um, yeah it's it slowly started to 
kind of speak for itself our relationship yeah it was nice so how was that with you and Molly let's talk about that a little bit in front of Mark J. Freeman <laughs> I like Molly no, I'm sorry well, Melody. Molly, sorry, Molly Molly we like right Molly. Yes. Yes. Molly, yeah. we love Molly um, Molly <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was it was nice. It was nice. It was really nice. I feel like um, I don't know. We had a we had a really cool bond. We became buddies, you know, mm-hmm. while we were on there, and uh, and I think that that definitely shows when you're on when you're on air. Was she whiny then too? <laughs> the character or Molly? The character. The character. <laughs> a, li- a yeah, little she was bit. Whiny, right? A little bit. I think <laughs> you Molly's stand my angst. <laughs> Molly is much more of a badass than yeah. the character. Yeah. Oh, totally. Is. I, I, like, agree I, with that. I remember one scene where I had to come in and like save him from this burglar that somebody oh, had hired. I remember that. I feel like the real Molly could like cut up. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I had to go in and like yeah. save the yeah. day. I'm yeah. like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I started watching uh, YouTube clips like just to refresh my memory, and um, I had to stop because most of them were with Melody. <laughs> This is what we have to deal with all the time. That's I like, why I feel like Francisco, that's, you know I love you. Mm-mm. That's, Can't watch it anymore. That's partly the probably the reason why there are no Jonases in Salem right now because yeah. of all of all. Daniel of, died. Oh, he did. That's my good news. I was waiting for you to get here to die. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Yeah, I didn't mind. He's him gone. Him. Although we, oh, we'll get into that later. No, I didn't mind him. I thought he yeah. was cool. Oh, okay. Who else did? Because um, you interacted with. You know, quite a few people. There was Mark Hapka, Galen, yeah. Camila. Camila. Um, how was it working with the rest of them and and forming that like brother sister vibe with them as well? It was it was cool. It was cool because I think um, when I went on the show, Galen naturally had this kind of brotherly instinct to like, okay, let's run the lines, let's do this, let's mm-hmm. do that. So mm-hmm. it was very easy. And Camilla and I just we bonded instantly, mm-hmm. and we actually hung out a lot around that time. Uh, we went to like San Diego together with mm-hmm. her sister and the sister's boyfriend and we had a lot of fun so yeah I, we developed a bond very early on but as soon as I started they like threw a ton of material at me because we're like we have to give this guy a backstory or premise for being on the show mm-hmm. and I'm like oh my god I yeah. can't believe like I literally had like half the script for like the first week yeah yeah. every day that I would read it I, I had read somewhere when, <coughs> when you were talking about you you you, you yourself having gone to uh, take photos with the kids and everything in Mozambique. Yep. Um, I read that their idea for the character was somebody that was coming back from Africa yeah. or something, and that's why your picture stood out to them. Oh, that's what I read. Whether that's true or not, I don't I know. I read that also. But I, I don't, I that's what I had that. read. But that's why that picture stood out to <coughs> them, because they were like, oh, we're creating this character that's coming back from... Wow. There, Crazy. So. so I could have just walked in the room and done nothing, and they would have been like, you're it. <laughs> you're, it. <laughs> you're from... You know, you're Perfect. Perfect. Well, I think the work spoke for itself as well. Wow. So, you know. Thank you. But well, Maybe I should show my picture with Aloma Wright. There you go. Who used to there play Maxine. Yeah. Oh, you son. mean to get cast? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen twice. Yeah, he's like, you never know. Thank you, Francisco. You gotta keep hopeful. So can I tell it. a little? Can I tell a little bit about when we first met? Because we met a, a while back. Yeah. Uh, you came in to where I was working with our friend. A mutual, we have a mutual friend, and it was so. <laughs> it was one of those moments that I had. This happens to me all the time in LA, where you see somebody. Uh, is it? Oh, Maria Bello. Is that her name? The actress Maria Bello. Mm-hmm. Something Bellow. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. Is it Maria Bellow? She came into my theater last night, and I kept looking at her like, God, I know her. <laughs> like, I, why does she look so familiar? And then she came to get her tickets and gave me her name, and I went, oh, that's why I know you. <laughs> <laughs> you're an actress. But, like, works. it was the yeah. same thing with you. Is you came with my friend, and I just thought because you're with my friend, that's how I knew you. And I was just, like, in my head, I'm like, no. I would have remembered having a conversation with this guy. And then it was after you guys walked away and went to the other side of the room. I was like... Oh my god, that's Daria. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny that that happens a lot of the time, and it happens to me too. Yeah. Like I've gone up to people at my gym, and I'm like, "Hey, how's it going?" They're like, uh, "I do not know you." Yeah, so, you totally do because you feel like you know them because you yeah. watch them. Right. And then like I'm always like, "Oh my god," and I do that it happens to me, especially from bartending, because there's so many people that recognize me from the bar, but I've waited on so many people yeah. that like I don't remember everybody. So my first inkling is to go, "Okay, oh okay, I have to remember who this is." I have to remember. Oh no no, Deidre Hall, got it, got it. Got it. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty got big it. one though. Yeah. yeah. Well, she did, but my first, f- first or second day at the theater, she came in. She came, oh. and I was sitting at my desk, and I saw her walk in the theater, and I was sitting. <laughs> I did it. I was like, "Oh, that lady looks like Deidre Hall. That's so fun." 
Okay, it's Deidre. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so, that's why. Yeah, it happens. Well, so. speaking of other interactions, did you ever have any interesting fan interactions? Seeing as how I are... was well behaved, for the record. I don't I know did about ask for that. A little crazy. Like <laughs> you came up to me, put your arm around me. <laughs> I'm like, I we took a picture. See, no, handsy. We took no, a picture. You were nice. You were nice. You were he handsy. did let me take a picture. No, and were, I think I tweeted handsy. it out earlier. No, this you week. were really nice. Uh, I it, it took a lot of getting used to for me. Yeah. I, I know that some people like they bask in it and stuff, but mm-hmm. it's, it's very strange for me. Like going to events, we went to this event for uh, millions of milkshakes with oh, yeah. some of the cast members, and people were like. Francisco Dario and I'm like I don't it's so weird that they know yeah. you and you don't know them yeah. and it's like you want to engage in conversation with them but you don't know what to do mm-hmm. so it, it's kind of strange and I got stopped on the street a couple times as well but then you're like okay well they obviously you know yeah. see me on TV so you have to like disassociate and be like okay I'm a different person than right. what they're seeing right yeah because if not I feel I feel like a lot of people would go bonkers I'm not being handsy my hands are right here <laughs> is, you right? is that why you, you keeping your hands up there well, your foot <laughs> Brittany's <laughs> <laughs> like, Brittany's like, he is dreaming. Really? Oh, girl, that's right. So, okay, so how was the pacing for you? Because I'm sure you know other acting gigs are different. Oh, it's fed. brutal. Yeah, it so, is I mean, how brutal. Did you, how did you get that muscle like, massage? I got or? two takes, and that was a lot. And people would give me the side. I'd be like, come on, pick it <laughs> up. And I'm like, dude, I just got here like a week ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, I, I was in Spain like a month ago, and I had to like change the chip to oh, speak I'm in sure, English. Yeah, yeah, sure. It was hard. It was oh, hard. Wow. Because I've, I've been there for years, and to actually engage and have that much dialogue in, in, in English, you know? So, yeah, it was it was tough, but it keeps you on your feet, and you learn to rely on your ist- instincts a lot more, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Well, there yeah. was that brief period where, um, where I loved it, where, like, you guys did talk in Spanish, and they had, like, mm-hmm. the, Subtitle. the subtitles there. And I was like, oh, look at that, trying to incorporate, like, the language and everything. I don't know how it went over, because it soon went oh, away. people hated it. Yeah. I mean, I, like, what is this? <laughs> I liked it. Oh, I liked it. I liked it, and I liked when, now, when um, Christopher, Sean, and Hira, when they were speaking Japanese and uh-huh. had the well, subtitles. See, here's the problem, right. yeah. well, here's the problem for yeah. me, because... I speak Spanish. My accent is not the greatest. I totally admit it. You can speak know, Spanish. Yeah, I know my I know my Vamos, vamos a hablar un poco. Venga. Sí. Vamos but, a hablar. but here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Some people on the show, their Spanish didn't sound that good. Like yours sounded fine, but some people they sounded they sounded kind of like they're like are they reading it phonetically? Like what are, like what are they? You know what I mean? So it sounds. Well, sound Camilla doesn't have an accent whatsoever. But, but, but she speaks but, it. Yeah, but but Rafe, it's like it took him some working yes. up, and they, yeah. I, they actually like I think they um, made his lines a lot shorter in Spanish. <laughs> but they wanted to show like so we, we just figured out who stuff. that comment was about James Lad Jr. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't say the name. Oh, I said it. So and I don't but, know. Oh, okay, it's but, true, but he doesn't have a Spanish background, so right, it's obvious. Exactly. You know? And right. they just threw him in there. They're like, "Oh, you'll get it." And he's like, "What does this mean?" He would yeah. come up to me. He's like, "Cómo está, mama?" They're like, "Okay." But see, that's the Spanish I understand. Oh, you understand that one. <laughs> straight for, you gotta... You gotta be just straightforward. Yeah, straight forward. yeah. None of that fancy stuff. Like a brazos, bezos, and you only know those, couple of those words? I, that does, I don't know. Quesadilla. Oh, I, I didn't even get that. I know, quesadilla, a brazos. nachos. Okay. A brazos? Oh. Okay. Nice. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> He said it really fast. See, he didn't even get us. He didn't, he didn't get it. Uh, no, no, he didn't get it. Look, <laughs> he's like, "What's going on here?" Y'all know me. I just sit here with open arms, <laughs> and so I was sitting here with like, open arms. Like, suddenly Telemundo. This- like, what's going on? This is Univision. Well, Francisco, well, the chat room says you're very dreamy. They're all saying it. It's. I'm telling you, it's the lighting. <laughs> it's a lighting. <laughs> um. So there were quite a few storylines that that you had while while you were there. The petty thief, the covering up. Um, the assault with Brady, mm-hmm. it was. I was. Oh to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I was the historian. I'm the historian. Yeah, James is our historian. Like, w- was there ever a moment like when you were there for a while and you're like, okay, like I'm really like digging this material now? Did you? Oh ever yeah, have that moment? yeah. I think my the day that uh, Brady and I had the scene, I really liked that. Mm-hmm. And um, but there was some moments that I felt like. Obviously, they're trying to fit my character in and, and, and get me adapted and stuff, but mm. some of the scenes seem a little bit strange to me. Yeah. But some other ones, like there was ones with, with Melanie that I really enjoyed or, 
just intimate stuff that we would be like in the pub talking or but I really enjoyed when I was working at the pub I don't know why mm-hmm. <laughs> I just felt very in control behind the bar <laughs> <laughs> I just give everybody the side eye that would come in that I didn't like you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. sounds like Mark's job oh, oh that's really good. Good. well I kind of use you for inspiration so I felt like I was very oh, I was doing I was some very method. nice bartender was I not yeah that's because I thought I knew you. The people you like. <laughs> the people you like. People that's you true. Like. That's very true. <clears throat> that's so funny. Um, so, were you? I, I know, like you were. You were there for about a year, or you, so. Um, a little under a year. I can't remember exactly how long. But yeah. yeah. And I then, think, yeah. Was it a surprise to you when they like? Did you know that they were gonna let you go, or did you just get the script one day and was like, "I'm leaving"? What? <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. I went to Spain and everything was fine. And um, I, I noticed. I feel like some people in the cast probably knew before I did, which I thought was really weird. Mm-hmm. But I think that um, yeah, some people probably knew. And I just felt like how they started to treat me differently, like one or two people. And I'm like, oh, this is strange. Yeah, mm-hmm. something's up. I felt it. And then I went to Spain, and then I came back, and my manager wanted to pick me up from the airport, like desperately. I'm like damn like what's going on <laughs> so as soon as I got in the car he's like look um, they said that they wanted to go in a different direction they asked like seven characters you're one of the seven and they're bringing back like past characters to try to increase the fan base and try to you know like revive it a little bit and it was it was a shock because I'm like okay I'm still trying to find my groove yeah. you know um, I feel like I could do so much more with the character but you know for whatever reason a lot of the times things are out of your hands in, in Hollywood and you kind of just have to accept it. Yeah. You know, so it took me a couple of days. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I had this sense of stability here and now mm-hmm. I don't have it. But, you know, you just take it one day at a time. And um, what was kind of gratifying was that the casting director, Marnie, told me, like, you know what? We we really did like your your stuff and we just didn't know where to take the the role. Yeah. And we had to make room for, you know, other big characters. So Melanie yeah. brought you down. <laughs> She might have. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my Sorry, god. Daquan. Oh, no. Sorry, no. Daquan. Not at all. Not at all. I feel like if anything, <laughs> that would have been the one thing that would have kept me in days was just the, the that she and I had a lot of chemistry. I don't know how it was with Nathan. Yeah. But I felt like like uh, Melanie and I really bonded when we were there. Yeah. And and you could tell in the scenes, like a lot of them especially when I was leaving Salem, you know, when I was saying my goodbyes, like mm-hmm. I was genuinely very hurt. You know, yeah. I, I didn't want to say bye to her. And I said bye to her in that scene as a friend and also, you know, as, as a lover on mm-hmm. the show. Yeah. So. Now, Carolyn wanted to know, uh, was there anybody you considered a mentor on the on the show? Anybody oh. actor that? Um, oddly enough, Camilla. Oh, yeah. okay. She was younger, but, yeah. you know, she just, she showed me the ropes and whenever I had a question, she would help me out. And it was always with... Never from like an arrogant point of view. It was always just like, oh, just do it this way or do it that way, or you'll learn or whatever. But it, she never judged me, and I felt like she made me feel very comfortable, mm. and I felt like she had my back. You know? Yeah. A lot of some of the people there were a little bit hostile. Not gonna lie. Okay. You know? Okay. And uh, and I don't want to be I don't want to be like bashing anybody, but yeah. I just feel like the turnover rate is probably really fast. Mm-hmm. Obviously, and they're probably used to seeing people come and go, so they don't oh, yeah. want to invest too much in relationships. Maybe so, yeah. I felt like maybe that was the reason. But some people wouldn't even say hi. Wow, really? And I was like, oh, okay. You know, That's so. Mean. But you can't take it personally. I mean, it's their problem. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, right, exactly. I'm like, I have, I have a cool group of people. I, I got along with Chandler Massey as well, mm-hmm. and, and you know, we were, we were fine. So when did you uh, did when did you find out that they had recast a new Dario? Oh, I ran into Camilla the other day, and we were at an audition. She was going in for a different part for a different series. It was She's not um, leaving days, is she? Not that I <laughs> oh <my> know. God. <laughs> <laughs> and you heard it here first. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I I don't know what's going on as far yeah. as her choices, but they all um, go on auditions every. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. So, no, everybody yeah, goes yeah. on auditions. I mean, I it's think right. da- days tries to control it a little. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's like, oh, enough for you, Tony. He's like, enough for you. Days so tra- I think him. Days tries to, you know, monitor the day right. the auditions. You always have to check with them and stuff. But yeah, I ran into her and um, and I'm like, hey, so what's up? Like, are you still on Days and everything? Because I haven't talked to her in a while. And she's like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm still on Days. Everything's fine. Um, but they're like, they just recast your role. And I'm like, damn it. <laughs> 
like, had to really? stay a little like, bit. Why didn't they give me a call yeah. at least? And uh, and no, they're, she's like, they're going with somebody older. And I, again, I think they're trying to revive yeah. kind of the fan base. And he was on All My Children, I believe. Mm-hmm. He was on All My Children and Guiding Lights. He did both of those. So it's like he has a lot, you know, yeah. to, a lot of credits and a lot yeah. of following, which is obviously what you want. When yeah. you when you go into those kinds of situations, so they made him a lot older. Apparently, they he did. aged in Argentina. I don't know what. They did. <laughs> yeah. Went down there, knows what happens. Well, he's actually in L.A. Oh, he was in L.A. But he they, went to Argentina now, first. Now Brady just went to L.A. to find some woman he's dreaming about, and <laughs> and the, the, he asked the bartender if he knows her, and he's like, "Oh, the regular bartender will be in a little bit. He can answer." And it turned out it was Dario. Oh, so but he was in Argentina. He came back. But he was in yeah. Argentina, and then he went to L.A. He said, "No, he said nothing else going on down there." So he came yeah. back. Oh. I'm like, it's Argentina. What do you mean? What's going well, on Dan, here? things didn't work out for him because the last time I left, I left him for like some business position. Yeah. Yeah. Back to being a bartender. Yeah. 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 He, said, yeah. He, he said he loves it. I'm like, I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was my character first. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I wanted him to do well. Yeah. You know? Well, well he seems happier. Well, is is he happier? He seems happier. We only so, saw him for a day. I mean, day. I feel like he's trying to like figure it out. I don't know. I well, I don't know about you guys, but like when, and I don't know if, if it was because I knew that Francisco was coming in today, and I started like thinking about like the time that you were on days. But there was a moment where I was like, I kind of wish they had like brought you back. Yeah. Because you know, I, I don't know. I I just feel like. When you when you're already familiar when you're a fan of Days and you're already familiar with someone playing a certain character, you kind of expect that person to come back. Mm-hmm. And then when he walked around the corner, I was like, eh. "I'm gonna have to give this a couple of weeks." Yeah. Again, it's going back to what we said earlier that I feel like it always takes a while for people to get accustomed to it because the the fans are kind of brutal. Oh yeah. No. Oh, oh, yes, they are. I made the huge mistake of like going into one of the forums one day mm-hmm. and they're like, "Francisco sucks," and I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. give me a couple more weeks. I swear I'll get better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I I think that um, it's funny how things work out in that way because I was given this opportunity. It was an amazing opportunity, and I honestly I didn't have to work for it that much because mm-hmm. I was just like fresh off the plane. Mm-hmm. But um, if I were to be given something like that today, I would approach it in a completely different way. Yeah, you know. I felt like I tried to live up to the expectations that they were setting, and, and I, I had a very different style of acting because in, in Spain, believe it or not, you act very differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, even if you were to watch like a Spanish movie, it's just the, the phonetically and the intonation is very different. So, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, I feel like I would have made I would have made a lot of it, but I'm confident in my talent. Like I I went in for um, a bold and the beautiful role right before Christmas, right. and I was gonna have a chemistry read, and everything was going great, and then they asked my character, wow. and they're like, you know what, you know, you don't have the chemistry read anymore. It was down to like two guys, and you know, they're just not doing it anymore. Um, so no, it's fine, but it's it's you, the it's an, it's yeah. the name of the game. You, yeah. Know, yeah. you have to do it that way. Uh, so how do you so how do you stay motivated? In this business of up and down. Denial. <laughs> <laughs> Denial. I can still make it. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel like there has to be like an element of craziness that you're gonna make it despite all the odds. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because if not, you know, it's just gonna eat you up. If you really think about the statistics, yeah. Like, never mind. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> but, but you know. Yeah. So, so I, you try like Tony and I were speaking about earlier. You have to keep your own projects. You have to mm-hmm. motivate yourself. Mm-hmm. Keep that artistic and, and, and um, kind of perseverant element alive, you yeah. know? And you're also Latino. I mean, it's like in a, in a market that's mainly, soaps are mostly not people of color. Yeah. And nowadays, they're getting a little more diverse again. Yeah. But yeah. You, have to, you have to kind of swim upstream on that too, don't you? But oddly enough, the way I look has kind of um, not benefited oh. me in some ways yeah. because I'm not stereotypical Latino. Right, right. right. European, yeah. super white. And it's like, a lot of the times I go into commercial auditions and they're like, huh, are you sure you don't have the wrong day? I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be here. And then I, uh, they wow. see me speak Spanish and yeah. they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's weird because I think a lot of the times we're typecast and it's very stereotypical mm-hmm. the way that they approach it. Mm-hmm. And I actually went in for like the CIS role a long time ago and I killed the audition. Killed it. And they're like, you know what, you're just too white. Like, oh, damn. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, they, they're, no, they're not shy. No, so, they're not shy. It, it works both ways, you know? Well, yeah. I say, I, I, I've had it and I, Tony's going to make, I'm setting you up right now, Tony, <laughs> um, where I've had auditions for gay stuff and I was told I wasn't gay enough. Child. I know, yeah. well, I know, up, but I know what you're saying. Like they right, want a, right. they want a certain 
You know what I mean? I mean, I, I can be it. Trust me. I can sashay. I can work the, work the runway. But they want something. Like do they have a specific? <laughs> Did you have I the, actually have. You're right. <laughs> Did you have the wrong day when you were here? <laughs> I might have. That's very possible. Because very, but I know what you're saying. I, and I think that's the case. Because they want, they just have their they eye have on idea. a certain yeah, thing. Idea. And they don't care. Well, Look, about anything the, else, they don't care the about days talent. Thing, for the days thing, like the initial role that I got, you know, mm -hmm. I, I barely auditioned, like I told you, yeah, and I yeah. got it because they saw that picture. It's like, right. it's all image face mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah. And I, I went in for an yeah. audition the other day, and I feel like I was way too young. Mm -hmm. And you could just tell that they dismiss you as soon as you go in the room, and I'm like, ah, just give me a chance. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm gonna well, and I, they also say, too, when you go into an audition, you're not auditioning for that, you're auditioning for the next thing. Yeah. So they, as long right. as you do well, right. they will remember, and they'll say, hey, remember that guy yeah, who's yeah, a little yeah. young? Yes, I think that he's right for this one. So. Yeah. It'll happen. Yeah, it's true. It'll it's happen. True. I mean, remember us. It's always important that you just get in the audition room. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm, I'm usually outside. Absolutely. Like absolutely. being like, oh, hey, shut up. can I come in, please? <laughs> <laughs> please, can I? It's like, oh, are you auditioning people? Do you have a role for me? <laughs> No, Maxine no. son. I just left my pen in there. Let me get. Did right, you work with Maxine? Was Maxine on the show then? Uh, which which no, Max? I don't think well, so. She, she just scrubs was, her she, time. Yeah, well, is uh, her name is Aloma Wright, yes. and um, she didn't come. She she was in the nurse the, like a few years ago. Yeah. Like she hasn't she's been, been on, the on show a that while. Long. I, she maybe was, she wasn't on as much. I not like back then. She was on Scrubs. She's playing Laverne on Scrubs. Yeah, she wasn't on back then. She worked with Melanie a lot. Wait a second. What does she look like? What does she look like? African American woman. Oh yeah, she was on a couple episodes. I Come think, on, okay. but she made like was guest she, stars. Yeah, yeah. see, because she started off not on a lot, and was. then she okay. became yeah. a, a more no, regular. She was, she was amazing. No, she's her. been on that long. I guess yes, no, she, she she was on like very briefly. Little very briefly. bits. She yeah. would come yeah. on little bits, and then all of a sudden she was on more. I remember more she more. told me she was on Scrubs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she was yeah. great on Scrubs. They killed her on yeah. Scrubs. This whole time I've been sitting here. She yeah, yeah. yeah. So I liked her. I remember her, and I worked yeah. with her for like two days. But she was that yeah. memorable. Yeah. Now I want to ask you because you were behind the candle. Oh, someone just oh, so Francisco was cute on behind the candle. Yeah, you guys. So how was that? I mean, Matt Damon, Michael Douglas, and I love the the name on your. IMDb. What does it say? For like backstage flirt. Backstage flirt. <laughs> I love that. Silton. Yes. <laughs> so how was that, that experience? It was a big hit movie, of course, TV movie. Yeah. But how was that? The experience? movie was insane. And yeah. as soon as I saw Michael Douglas, I'm like, they are going to nominate him for everything. Yeah. He was just taking so many risks as an actor yeah. mm -hmm. that it's inspiring to be around that. Yeah. You know, Matt Damon, obviously he's Matt Damon, but I was more awestruck Michael. By, yeah. by Michael Douglas just because he was just, he didn't even seem like the person that I had seen yeah. in other movies. Yeah. But um, yeah, our scene was kind of longer, got super cut down. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So basically, all I'm doing is like looking like an idiot and awestruck, which <laughs> I didn't even have to act that much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but it was it was it was a gift because you get to be around that kind of energy, and I got to be with Soderbergh, and it was just mm -hmm. I even talked to him, which was amazing. Oh, you yeah. did? Okay. Yeah. What'd you say? Yeah, I'm like, was that good? <laughs> <laughs> was that okay? <laughs> like, I'm okay. like, I want you to get the best possible take, and he's like, no, no, yeah, you looked really surprised. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's that's awesome, because basically that's all I had to. All okay. I had to do so, yeah, it was amazing. When I saw the movie, when it came out, yeah. it blew me away. How stylized it was, mm -hmm. and the acting, and how kind of nasty Michael Douglas was. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did, you, did, you, did you know? Did you know of Liberace? Did you hear Liberace? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, obviously, he wasn't in, like no, around when I was young, yeah, but I but yeah, I researched him and, and everything for the movie, and he just it was like the voice was on point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, Kind of, See, I grew up screechy. with him. I grew. Oh, I was. I was young enough to remember him, and I old enough to remember him. And I remember my mother. I saw the movie. Like, that's right. No one thought he was gay. It was really weird. Yeah. Come I remember on that. Now. I remember that. It was just. It was just like he was this flamboyant, you know, performer. Well, was I think it was kind of the same with Elton John too, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, Elton John wasn't really yeah. out out, but you were just like, oh, well, like Paul he's Lynn, a dresser. Like Paul Lynn <laughs> and like Rip and Rip Taylor. Rip Taylor. Yeah, they were out. Kind of, and they were kind of they were really gay. That the seventies were weird. In it. The seventies were a weird decade, anyway. But it was just like with him, we just saw him as this big performer who wore all the rings and had. The, I, th I think he just probably had a really good publicist. Maybe that's you, I guess. That's like, like in, back in the day, they wouldn't let the dirt out that much. Yeah, they would. Yeah, yeah they whereas would. today it's like you can get a picture of anybody. Right. Like, well, back in the day, it was the National board. Enquirer yeah. and the Globe and all that. There was only a few publications that yeah. there was no internet. So. Um, again, I, I just want to read this. Um, Sebastian K says, Francisco's jawline could cut a diamond. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and Daquan, okay, Daquan, I'll read one of your stupid questions. He wants to know <laughs> if you keep in touch with Molly. 
I haven't talked to Molly in a while, honestly, but I have her on Facebook and like I, I keep like I do like to see what she's doing from time to time. Yeah. And um, the, the people on days, especially the people that I bonded with, hold a special place in my heart. And yeah. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's like it was my first major acting experience when I came in from Spain. Mm-hmm. So every time I pass by, you know, did you the go Burbank to the 50th? studios? The fiftieth what? No, 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 no. <laughs> so that's a no. no. We didn't know either. Oh, okay. yeah. We didn't get invited yeah. either. Oh, okay. <clears throat> no, I mean, like I said, the turnover is so big that if they invited everybody, I mean, yeah. So, <laughs> so if you could uh, reprise your role as Dario, mm-hmm. like, and you could, because we like to play writers on the show too. Oh, interesting. So, okay. Yeah. So you know, I have my character, obviously, <laughs> um, <laughs> and everyone has theirs. Mrs. Chad Demera. Um Did you work? No, you didn't. You maybe, maybe the other guy. No, it was <laughs> Casey, Casey was on when he was on. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, Casey! But, I remember Casey. Yeah. But what? Re-cast. How? How would you foresee Dario <laughs> right now? Um, Coming back in to say, like, what has he done? Like, if you could just write the role of Dario right now. I think. I mean, I don't know. Some people may say that this is kind of a. I would play him a lot more, just like me. Yeah. Just like very laid back. I would. I felt like they were kind of trying to push the bad guy role a little bit mm-hmm. and just make him a little bit more likable, you know, because yeah, I think that he started off with not that much of a following, like we said, and just, yeah, just make him more laid back. I feel like a lot of those, the the soaps are just so heavy mm-hmm. that it, it would be kind of nice to have a, a little bit more uplifting kind of vibe to a role. You yeah. Know? I don't know. That's me. Well, he seems like that now, so y'all might have missed the mark on that. Yeah. Oh, the new Dario? Yeah. 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 Well, that's good. So wait, now tell me again, I, I don't really remember, but you said there was a, when you, you had some kind of interaction with Brady? Yeah. What was that? Um, It was a cover-up of a assault. That... Who, what? Who... No, like, I ran, I ran into him at the coffee shop or something like that, and we almost, like, got confrontational and stuff, and he's like, well, what are you doing here? I know that you're stealing, whatever, I think. Well, I'm just yeah, thinking, because they were they are the first two that are interacting with the new Dark. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah. like, so that's hey, what I'm hey. just thinking, I'm like... Are so, they on a friendly basis, or what? Yeah, well, yeah. Seem, oh, yeah. it seemed like they are. Oh, See, that's why I was yeah, asking, because I'm like, wait a minute. Brady and I, oh, he hated my character. Yeah. Like, because he doesn't seem to hate no. him right now. No, I mean, he's like Dario. What are you doing here? I mean, it's like year, it's years later. Yeah. yeah. So, well, it's, I just when you mentioned it, that's what sparked. Because I was like, wait, maybe a minute, he has, has a new heart. With, maybe that's yeah. true. Maybe he's Brady's done some got a new healing. Heart, by the way, maybe. he's got oh, Daniel's maybe. heart. Oh, literally, he has literally. a new heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Literally. It stays in our lives. That was a metaphor. Okay. Come on. No. That's nice. It stays in our lives. Pun intended. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's why he's dreaming about Daniel's exes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a really good storyline. Yeah, look at it. It's really good. Mind. Except that it's Daniel. That. Other yeah. than that. It's good because you but I have my can be this with Daniel. It's uh, a I, so I'm hearing more about Daniel now that he's dead. You are, I know. <laughs> he when he was alive. <laughs> wow. I can't. He's storyline. That's the only reason right. I want Melanie to stay alive. <laughs> so they stop talking about what, is she, is she on the she's not dying anymore. or something? No, she's no. not. She's, she, she, she came from the in and popped out. She oh, yeah. Yo, yeah. Camilla told me that. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm always on like every two months, and then she leaves, and then she comes back, and then she leaves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. Just what Carolyn well, well, did bring up, they did say at the end, no hard feelings. The new yes. Brady, they said no hard feelings. So they kind of addressed it a little bit. Who knew hard feelings? Who? Between Dario Brady and Brady. And Brady. And Brady. Well, that be, oh. because I like, remember um, Historian, um, like Brady got him that job at Titan, mm-hmm. but he put him with the toughest manager ever so that he, he was like working long hours and all <laughs> yes. that so he can avoid not being around Molly. Yes. Yeah. Or Melanie. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. he started doing so well that they were like, "We're gonna uproot you to Argentina." Yes, Argentina. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah, he yeah. was like, I "Gotta go." And then he I left. remember that. Yeah, yeah, it was like the messenger boy started off. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. So yeah. catch us up now. Like, what what has life been like for you besides like auditioning and stuff um, since your time on Days? Well, I've been I've been doing a lot of Spanish stuff. Surprisingly, right, right. Um, I work with like this kind of reenactment Christian network mm. and um, work is very consistent with them and it's mm. it's nice because it keeps me on my toes but it's very like telenovela kind of uh, okay. over the top it's, oh. very, it's very much like what? telenovela telenovela <laughs> I love right. that. I like that. Yeah, novela. Which oh, that, t- that, that that reminded me of the the new series with so, I was gonna yeah, oh, with Longoria. It kills me. It's, it's so funny. I auditioned for that too, and I was like one of two guys, oh. and they gave it to the other guy. 
But come uh, on, Hollywood. Well, there's others. There, Damn it. If it's going to be on a while, there'll be more. Yeah, parts, I can go so. on there. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I, I, that's exactly like right up my, yeah. my alley with as far as like comedy and stuff. I love yeah. that stuff. And I love yeah. like the very over the top like style. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I do a lot of like reenactment stuff. I go in for commercials. I booked a couple commercials. I small roles here and there, mm-hmm. but uh, nothing huge. I tested for a pilot like uh, right before going to Spain for Christmas. And it was for Shadow Hunters, and it was like we were one of uh, I was one of four guys, and they gave it to someone else again. But, Goodness gracious! But it just like you take it as it comes, yeah. And it's so nice to um, be part of that process and t- to have somebody notice you because initially when I went in for Shadow Hunters, they didn't want to have anything to do with me, and I'm really? like, I know that I killed that audition. Yeah. I know that I did. And then they finally call me like a month later, and they're like, you know what? You're going straight to producers, and then you you're testing. And I'm like, oh okay. Oh wow. So. See, sometimes you just never know. You never know. You never know. You may give up hope on like a certain role, and mm-hmm. then if you think that you did well, it, it'll come back around. Mm-hmm. So it's nice. And then, also, you you told me outside that you were starting your your YouTube channel. Yeah. Do you want to tell oh, people yeah, about yeah, that? I'll, t- I'll tell people. It's kind of. I mean, it's kind of a, j- a joking thing, but since I have a dog and a cat, um, uh, my dog's name is Mallorca, like the island I was born on in Spain, mm-hmm. and my cat's name is Dolores. <laughs> Um, I I spend a lot of time with them and and I'm a huge animal lover and I just decided to come up with this concept one day to have like a comedic take to it and to have like this YouTube channel called Pepe's Pet Tips. (laughs) Pepe's my nickname. So I was actually thinking about launching it and I have uh, really good banter with one of my friends. His name is Tony. and uh, Not me. But another Tony. Yeah, we don't get along. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Hated him. <laughs> so yeah, we. I, I'm gonna gradually start going into that, and uh, it's just it's good. It's a good way to keep creative when you're not doing anything because actors we have a lot of downtime, and mm-hmm. and I love just like goofing around. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then, <laughs> what? Daquan wrote Francisco to you uh, because there might be multiple Francisco's in the room. Uh, look, uh, look at Mark. Mark stalked Billy for months and on Twitter and finally got him to come in. So don't give up. <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. I did stalk him and got Daquan, him. Daquan, thank you. Daquan, yeah. Daquan. Francisco yeah. be good for GH. Yes, we do. We have. There are Hispanics in GH. So yes, you be good for GH. It's, it's good. good. It's awesome that we are opening kind of like yeah. the roster as far as diversity. I think yes. that that's so yeah. cool. You know because. Especially living in LA, you mm-hmm. run into yes. all sorts of. Di- I mean, just look at us at this table. Right. Yeah, right. like we right. have to be true to life. Yes, yeah. I agree. I totally agree. So very true. I, I think totally that's agree. how things are. So um, before we have to to wrap things up, I feel like time always goes by so, so fast. fast. Yeah, goes by fast, especially with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah. So are there are there besides acting, and, and I know that you you've had success with that. Is there anything else that you like would like to venture into? Um, I know you're doing the YouTube channel, but is there any other aspect of of the industry that you have ever thought about going into? Hmm. I think that I've gotten like a couple of hosting opportunities, which I, I don't know what kind of a host I would make. I don't think it would be very good. Yeah, Mark but. doesn't either. He's still trying to figure that out. <laughs> well, you, you can see? give me some pointers. Do you see what I do? I, I don't know. If oh, you no, know. they're telling you I'm not good. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We can, we can go together. Yeah, That's what we should, I totally help. Yeah. I totally help. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, we're just going to zhuzh you up a little it's bit more. There we go. There we go. It's twins. There we go. Um, <laughs> I, I, this has nothing to do with the industry, but I love, 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 love to volunteer and work yeah. with mm-hmm. kids. It drives me crazy. Yeah. I just, I really enjoy it. And uh, I used to collaborate a lot with Art of Elysium, mm, okay. and, and they're really well known. And I have it kind of on the back burner now because I've been so busy. But it's, yeah, it just, I, I love it equally as much as acting. And what we would do is we would go to like, um, hospitals and like um, schools with uh, kids with either learning disabilities or physical impairments or whatever and uh, and we would go entertain them and, and act for them and like I said I love to not take myself seriously so I, I would literally like have the craziest role when we would do these scripts I would be like I don't know like the dog or Rumpelstiltskin or whatever and I'd yeah. be jumping around and like having a great time with the kids yeah. so kids it may, are it's are kind of rewarding because you, you, yeah. you see that you have an immediate result you know it's like this can be such a self-absorbed industry, yes. and when you when you give back and you do it for good, mm-hmm. it's it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, I just read something where I think 
I don't know if they do it here, but somewhere there's uh, a hospital that takes volunteers to like care for newborns. Like, oh, I just to, like, saw that. Hold them and like sing to them. They, they hire people to now to just to hold newborns. Yeah, yeah. Well, I might scare a kid if I sing to him. But... <laughs> I'll talk to him in Spanish. There you go. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, look, start him early because listen. When I finally took Spanish in high school, I was like, I really wish somebody would have habla español. No, that's me, not, like, that is no <laughs> excuse. My mom and my stepdad went to China when they were like fifty. And they learn Chinese, so okay. you can still do it. Yeah. Come on now, Come on, let me get you together. I'm the prize. Let me get you together. Hashtag the struggle was real. <laughs> <laughs> like I can, I can understand Spanish, but like you know, I can't really speak it that well. Yeah. Although at least I, you can understand. That's big. Yeah, I do listen to Selena a lot. I, <laughs> I have no idea what she's saying, but I can she, feel her I emotion. Mean, bum, bum. She's. Oh, Selena, Selena. Yeah, Selena. Yeah, no, Selena. no, not Gomez. I'm like, this, not she's pretty white. <laughs> as, in, as in Selena Quintanilla. Ah, Quintanilla, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I she love, rest in peace. I love her Spanish songs. Yeah, I have, sometimes I have no idea what she's saying, but like I can feel the emotion. No, she's great. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. I'm going to put you into some flamenco music. Ooh, yeah. Flamenco music? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have a flamenco show at my theater on Sunday. Oh, do you? Sometimes. Yeah. Once a month. Well, well, they were doing it. I don't know if they're still doing it. I would love yeah. to go see it. Yeah. I'll, re- I'll check it out. I'll let you Well, Mark will hook you up with tickets. I, I would love to. Well, it's not our show, but I'll, I can. Damn, I'm sure I can. Well, he can he can figure it out. Yeah, he'll, he'll figure it out. He'll, he'll work with theater. it. Oh, oh there we today. go. Oh, that's what you have on. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was a bunch Odyssey of Billy Flynn. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they can't see it on the camera. <laughs> oh, that's why. There, oh, there it is. Right. They, oh, they can see it, Mark. Oh, okay. oh, 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 they can see All it, Mark. Sudden, yeah. God? The, God? All right. All right. God. <laughs> yes, my child. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, we have now run out of time, and we have to move things along so that we can get started with Dish and Days. But, Francisco, thank you so much for coming in and, and revisiting oh, your... <laughs> 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 I'm glad that you were, you were able to come in and, and revisit your character of oh, Dario. I'd, I'd love I to talk about it. that time in my life. So thanks a lot for having yeah, me. No here. problem. It. Well, and of course, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And before we head out, Mark, let the kind folks know where they can find you and your hair. You can find me <laughs> on Instagram and Twitter at Lorraine Love, L-O-R-A-Y-N-E-L-O-V-E. And you can find my hair on Twitter, Living for the Hair. And for the... <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you're on Twitter, you know this. Oh yes. my god! You I need to get on. You. That's amazing. You need to like my tweets. Oh. And Francisco, are you on social media? I am. My my Twitter is slightly abandoned. It's Pepo Duder, P E P O D U D E R. And uh, fortunately enough, it's the same on Instagram. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I do use Instagram a lot. So make sure you follow him. My chocolate twin. <laughs> I'm at Black Hope LA on uh, Twitter. It's Black. Oh, it's Black. It's B L A K H O P E L A on Twitter and James Lodge Anywhere else. How come every time I ask you for your social media, you get stumbled? I do. I'm like, like I'm on social media all the time. It's crazy. Yeah, you are. I am. And of course, <laughs> you guys can find me on all social media platforms at Lounge with, with Tony, Tony or my Lounge website, loungewithtony.com. <laughs> 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 Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and don't go anywhere because yes. we have a full recap of Days of Our Lives coming up right after this. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.